Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. We got a big video for you. The Epic Games on Break content drought has officially ended. Pirates of the Caribbean, of course, is here. We've got a new update this week. We've got Season 4 Battle Pass info. It's basically a confirmed skin at this point and huge Chapter 6 news. Stick with me. So let's start with Season 4 and it is to do with a Battle Pass skin, like I said, Doctor Doom. There's an upcoming POI codenamed Angle Patch and a Battle Pass skin with a green cape with the same code name. Potentially the Doctor Doom skin and boss like we saw in the leaked roadmap. So, I mean, at this point, because of the roadmap specifically that is official, of course, all of 2024 planned out on a roadmap leaked by an epic rogue employee, Doctor Doom seems to be like the main villain of our upcoming Marvel Season 4. And yeah, there's a Battle Pass skin with a green cape in the files for Fortnite Lego. And then the code name used is going to be used for a POI. So you would think like the main villain, he's probably going to get his own POI. Dr. Doom just makes the most sense here. Uh, I think this is, like I said, almost confirmed. No, you can't say 100%, but everything's adding up. So big news. Our first Battle Pass skin, I would say. I mean, we've taken guesses on some of the other ones in other videos, but this is one we can say is the most likely we know about so far. And while we're on the topic of Marvel, uh, it's not really Fortnite news, but it is. It's worth mentioning. So the Russo brothers are going to be working on the next two Marvel Avengers movies. And if you remember, if you don't know Donald Mustard, who was the creative director at Epic Games for years, big reason why Fortnite is how it is today, storyline wise live event wise and he quit his job at epic games to go work with the russo brothers and now of course disney who owns marvel now owns part of epic games so if donald does work on this movie he's now back in the marvel scene not officially with fortnite but it's just funny how everything ends up being all connected so potentially maybe donald mustard will be there working on the new uh, marvel avengers movies in the future i just thought that was just a funny little storyline we got to keep covering donald mustard it's not technically Fortnite news, but Donald, I think he's always going to be Fortnite news at this point. He was just so instrumental in a lot of big, important parts of this game. Yes, the Pirates of the Caribbean collab, the mid-season event is here. I mean, we knew everything already, so we're not going to go in detail. There's the new ship in a bottle, Mythic, and I'm just going to show you some of the map changes if you haven't seen them already. There is a new point of interest by the name of Shipwreck Shallows. Very exciting. We haven't had a mid-season major map change like this in a very long time. There is also a pirate ship now anchored to the Coral Buddies' cave. Captain Barbosa, Jack Sparrow, Elizabeth Swan and Davy Jones are all around the map as NPCs and then vaults around the map have been updated with pirate items so they really did go all in with some of the pirate changes and I'm here for it a new teaser today from Fortnite Cybertruck times Fortnite should be dropping tonight because the teaser was posted just earlier today a couple hours before I filmed this video so yeah either tonight maybe tomorrow but we've known about the Tesla Cybertruck times Fortnite collab for a very long time and it seems to be very close i'm gonna be picking it up i am i do not have an suv skin i assume this is going to be for the suv and i've kind of been waiting for this because i just i think it's just the funniest thing ever we're going to see a lot of these things driving around the Fortnite map so who knows the cost of it it might be probably will be ridiculous We'll have to wait and see. Thanks to everyone using code the camp and rusher, of course. Let's talk about our update this week. So it's July 23rd, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, Monday night, depending on your time zone. But I'll be staying up, making a video as soon as downtime begins. So subscribe, turn your notice on. But some of the stuff we know already, new collabs, cosmetics, August crew pack, of course. New shop dates, sections, when new stuff's coming out. Possible minigun return. The new melee-only LTM that we've talked about already. More Season 4 hints, leaks, more info on how this Season 4 mini build-up event's going to go. I mean, we're used to these mini build-up events the last few seasons, so I'm expecting one for this season. And then potentially that Fall Guys collab could release, or we're going to get more leaks on it. And just a reminder on the melee-only LTM... All heels and shockwaves are in, grapple blade, sideways scythe, shockwave hammer, nitro fist, chains of Hades, kinetic blade, magneto mythic, and more. So again, this thing's pretty close, ready to go. We could see it in the update. And more epic made LTM. We just got reload, now we got this. Like, keep the pattern going. I love epic made LTMs. 
And like I said about the Fall Guys update, we haven't talked about it in a while because there's been no new info, but they did update the Discord to include Fall Guys channels. So basically it's getting closer to happening. And I think this Fortnite collab is gonna be used to promote the new Fall Guys on mobile game. It's coming very soon. But for Fortnite, we're gonna have free Battle Royale rewards. We already know what they are. There's gonna be like a Battle Royale gameplay event similar to the Chapter 2 Season 7 Mothership. So some type of in-game, every game, you'll have to go and do some mini game event. And if you do well in it, you'll get really looted up. So it, it will be important for the meta, I'm sure, once it drops. And then Fall Guys support, of course, in Creative and UEFN. And you will also be able to rock some of your favorite skins as the Fall Guys Bean character. So they're going to, just like Lego, a lot of skins are going to be transferable, usable in Fall Guys and have a, yeah, a bean mode to them. We now know what the K-pop girl group is that's going to be representing Fortnite Festival Season 7, and it is New Jeans. New Jeans will get Fortnite skins in December. This collab will happen Festival Season 7, like I said, and this will be after both Carol G and Snoop Dogg have had their collaborations in the seasons before Season 7. Then reminder, with our update on the 23rd, the LEGO Fortnite Rebel Adventure Pass will be ending. So just if you haven't completed or if you want to pick it up, this is kind of your last chance to do so. And in my last video, I talked about this. Clombos should be coming to LEGO with this update if the roadmap is correct or they haven't changed anything from the timeline. Plus, we have the back of this LEGO Peely skin that's coming very soon, and it shows artwork of the Clombo. So I really still think this is happening. I think the only debate would be, are they still sticking to the plan? And is it happening in two days? I hope so, man. It's time. It's time for the Clombo to make its return. Okay, first look at Fortnite's unfinished item shop website. We talked about this a while ago. Basically, you're going to be able to buy skins straight from the website rather than having to log into Fortnite. And it looks like how you would think it looks like, but still worth showing off in the background there. I think it's a good feature, right? You can't get onto the game for whatever reason, and one of your skins comes out that you just need to buy. Maybe you're on vacation or something. Now you can log into the website and you can get it done. Okay, let's talk about Chapter 6. Chapter 6 will be released on December 1st. Fortnite will get a swinging mechanic with the update, and first person will be added to UEFN around the same time, which also opens the possibility of Epic adding it to Battle Royale. So we did know about the swinging, the UEFN first person thing happening soon, but December 1st, we didn't know the official date, and that seems to be it. At this point, this is a trusted leaker, George Most. So December 1st, I think that's a little earlier than usual, right? Uh, keep in mind, we do have Chapter 2 OG before that, App, which if it's a month long you would think the chapter 2 og will launch around november 1st we've got a very exciting period of Fortnite in front of us and it starts like right now right we got august 16th the new marvel season all the build up as of now until then and then you know, full-on Marvel season, Chapter 2 OG, Chapter 6. And I'm your guy. I'll keep you up to date on all of this. Some of the other info we know about Chapter 6, there's going to be a prone mechanic. It sounds like they are working on it where we'll be able to lie down. Swinging mechanic, like we said. Possible new modes. Creative pets support as well. And then possibly a floating islands theme. And again, this is from the roadmap. It's a pretty small and not too great image. But the best guess from the key art shot that relates to chapter six is there's going to be floating islands and a reminder with all of this chapter six will likely be the final chapter of fortnite before epic games starts making them in uefn of course this will only be accurate if epic games can stick to their schedule and continues making yearly battle royale chapters so we'll have to see about that because all battle royale seasons developed in uefn starting in 2025 this isn't necessarily bad a lot of people think this is sad news bad news scary news but it, by then uefn will will be as good if not better than the tools epic has now so i'm not worried we went through it when this was first announced you do not need to be worried about this uh, i know it sounds scary because uefn maps are nowhere near the quality of, of fortnite chapters but that shouldn't be an issue by the time this happens thank you for watching guys touch that like button take care talk soon goodbye